Hello Virgo, welcome in. My name is Laura from Tenacious Taurus Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for June. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This could play out at any point in time throughout the month of June. The message may or may not be for you, but let's get right into these energies, Virgo. And, and so in meditation, I felt uh, this energy of expansion. I felt this energy of like going out, spending time with some good friends, having a great time this summer. I think you're focused on having a good time this summer. I also feel for my Virgo collective out there, you are learning to adopt a more grounded, a spiritual approach in your life as well. And so I think you're going through a major expansion a major period of growth and I think you're like moving up the ladder climbing up the ascension ladder is kind of how they showed that to me Jacob's ladder and so maybe you are accelerating when it comes to your spiritual position or your um, ascension journey but I feel luck is on your side and so I just feel like um, you got luck on your side it's like you're gonna be in the right place at the right time and you're gonna come out on top no matter what you're dealing with what I also felt below the surface for you Virgo was a need to uh, stop getting lost uh, in thoughts and so there's something here that I feel was very shallow and I kept hearing the song far from the shallow now tapping into Virgo energy and there's some type of confrontation or opposition that's been playing out connected to some type of partnership whether this is a cycle reaching completion um there's there's like a you're like at the halfway mark is what it felt like the halfway mark and so you got to have, and I got this attitude, I felt something here maybe has uh, decomposed, decompressed. I, I also feel uh, there could be like a possible uh, reunion. It felt like a reunited energy coming together, uh, maybe after, you know, parting ways or going towards some bad company. I heard the words bad company, uh, but I just feel you're going to come out on top. So something about meeting somebody new. I also felt a strong message of you need to take your time before opening up your heart to somebody new, especially if you have just closed out some type of confrontation or opposition when it comes to closing out a partnership or a longstanding commitment. <clears throat> but I do feel it's really time to uh, start writing, start painting, start creating. And so... Virgo, I hope you're still with me. So this is for you. This is for June. This is going to be for any major Virgo placements. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. We're going to jump in with the cards. We're going to go further into these energies for you. We are going to start off with the Star Codes Astro Oracle Deck. We're going to get a couple messages with this Oracle Deck first to kind of set the tone. Uh, the message may or may not be connected to the energies I was tapping into. So let's get into it and let's see what we got going on here. Don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, and share the video, Virgo, especially if you are resonating with the messages that I'm putting out there. But I just feel like I think you've been a good team player. I think uh, it's time to take a new approach to your life, uh, to add a spiritual approach to it. But let's see what needs to come through fifth house. There is that confirmation. It's time to create. Uh, you could be a fifth house Virgo. It doesn't have to be. But I also feel this energy of like a three of cups. And so I think there's something here connected to a three of cups that is uh, creating a new sense of passion. And so two cards stayed on the table after the cut. And so we're going to take them. I do feel Three of Cups energy connected to a former alliance, but this is part of an awakening, I feel. So we get almost like a wounded healer energy coming through. I do feel like a King of Swords, Nine of Wands energy could be dealing with a King of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but it almost feels like somebody migrated. <laughs> There's like a migrated energy, uh, a shift in social circles or something of the sort. And I feel like the arrival of some authentic truth is really what's coming through, uh, connected to some third party. Uh, we got the root on the bottom of the deck. So it's, it's time to get to the root cause of a block when it comes to opening up the heart is really what it's feeling like for you 
vision. So that's uh, Neptune energy, the opposite of Virgo. Uh, Neptune is ruled by Pisces. So I feel like a page of wands energy, and that is connected to the fifth house. We get the ninth house. So there is some deep, deep exploration when it comes to re-energizing, refreshing a connection. Uh, this is like a seven of cups. There's some type of disillusionment going on here. And we get the Midhaven, and so fate, destiny. <laughs> so a fated, destined turn of events. You could be dealing with the King of Cups. I feel strong cancer energy. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with. You could have prominent cancer. But I feel there's a block between the head and the heart, and there is a need to get to the root cause of an issue. And so Knight of Cups, Three of Wands... <laughs> There is a very tense uh, situation where I feel you've been in opposition with somebody. So there might be some very challenging communication. There could have been some challenging communication that came in during that last Mercury retrograde. But I also feel we're in Pluto retrograde right now. And so it's like going through the, I heard hall, halls of shame, halls of shame uh, leading to the halls of fame. That's interesting. Uh, I feel like a Capricorn energy. I do feel somebody here has a lot of shame connected to a third party. And uh, there's like a reorientation. So there is like a disillusionment. Somebody here needs to hold the vision for what it is that they want to create, whether that's you or somebody you're dealing with. I do feel a mixture of earth and air coming in. And I do think uh, some tense communication. So I think there's a long overdue conversation coming. And uh, there's a deeply rooted um, pattern here that needs to be reviewed. Uh, in order to be future oriented. So I could be speaking to a Virgo North node as well. We get the North node. And so there is some type of activation. There could be some very challenging communication coming in. Eight of Wands. I feel like somebody's been stuck. And it feels like you've been pulled back. And you've been pulled back. And you've been pulled back. And now you're about to be released. And things are going to accelerate very, very quickly. They're showing me. The justice card with the ace of wands in my third eye right now and so what doesn't feel just and right will work out in your favor give me a moment here well i just had three sneezes in a row three <laughs> like oh my goodness um there's a need to move on from a situation here i do feel there's a need to move on there's a need to stop looking back there's a need to stop reviewing is what i feel and so i think one last look back in order to head towards some new future goals. And so I think the energy is very challenging. I also feel you are protected. And so I feel like a Four of Cups energy coming through again. A Four of Cups. So where in your life do you need to let go of a certain alliance that is no longer sustainable? I also think is a strong message for you, Virgo. I think you're ready to face some tension. I feel two people colliding. It feels like two worlds colliding. And there's a need to get into your depths here. There's a need to get your mind right. So let's get into it with the tarot and let's pull nine cards and let's see what else needs to come through for you, Virgo. For the month of June, <laughs> the lovers just come flying out and it landed right on the root card. So uh, there is a deep connection here. Uh, the lovers is a deep past life connection. Uh, could be dealing with the Gemini, but I feel <clears throat> Gemini season is going to allow you to get to the root cause of a situation. We're going to cut the deck. We're going to pull nine cards and we're going to go further into this. So unexpected communication. There could be an unexpected choice in love. There could also be an unexpected confession coming forward. The seven of swords reverse the five of swords. And so communication blocks. There's blocks within communication for sure. A thought pattern. There's victory here for sure. After a period of challenges, growing through the heart, there is a need to open up the heart here, Virgo. We get the wheel. And so June is a very chaotic month of energies. I think there's a lot of faded, destined uh, progress forward. We get the Knight of Cups and reversed is the central energy and we get the Empress. And so I do feel um, there's a feminine here coming through. She's the one that's coming out on top. There's an empress here, a Taurus, a Libra. It doesn't have to be. She's the winner. She's coming out on top. I do feel there could be a lot of competition. 
I do feel there could be uh, somebody withholding communication here, thinking that they're getting one up on an empress. We get the ten of wands in reversed. We get the three of swords. And we close it off with uh, the healing card. And so the star usually comes after the tower. We've got an empress here, I feel, that is a healer. We could have a mystic healer here. We could have a high priestess empress here. And I do feel she's healed from maybe a loveless situation. I think truths are being revealed as well about any self-sabotaging behaviors. We've got an empress here. She's all done with smiling liars. She's all done. She's taken the wheel and she's maybe allowed Jesus to take the wheel and she's coming into abundance. This could also be somebody is so, uh, so much in their ego that they want to be right and they'd rather be right than have love in their life. And they're going to miss out on a golden opportunity to heal a situation with an empress. So there's a couple situations going on here, Virgo. I'm not sure who you are in this situation. But I do feel uh, there is a very strong uh, feminine energy here that I feel has uh, an opportunity to make a different choice in love. And this might require breaking free from an old belief or an old mindset or breaking free uh, from, from a smiling liar. Breaking free from a smiling liar that I think might have caused a lot of confusion and illusion. And so I, I feel there's really a need to trust in your intuition on this one. But we're going to clarify the Knight of Cups in reverse. Who is this smiling liar? Who are you dealing with, Virgo? Oh, we got a smiling liar. Okay, uh, we get the Magician in reverse. We get the Nine of Cups upright. We get the strength reverse. So we get Leo, we get Pisces, we get Gemini and Virgo. So I do feel there's like a smiling liar here. We've got somebody here that is so far up in their ego that they don't even have what it takes, I think, to apologize when it comes to wish fulfillment. And so I think somebody here is so prideful. They want to be right. They might be squandering an opportunity to have wish fulfillment with an empress is kind of what it feels like. Yeah, because they are just too prideful. They're too much in their ego. They're not willing to give up independence. I also feel somebody here is codependent, needs to deal with some codependencies. So where's the star taking this empress? Because I don't think this smiling liar is coming back around. And if the smiling liar is coming back around, they're coming back around with a lot of truth. There's that King of Swords energy coming through again. And so Aquarian energy, Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. So there is an opportunity to go towards a new creative, passionate endeavor. Absolutely. <clears throat> but it will require taking action. It will require communication. It will require truth and action truth and action and so i do feel we've got an empress here that might need to choose between two uh you might have to choose between two people here you might have a choice between two if you are resonating as this empress and i think this is you virgo and so you got a big decision to make here in june <clears throat> you got a choice between two lovers you got a choice between two kings <laughs> uh you got you got two kings here, and so I do feel maybe it's time to migrate. Maybe it's time to integrate even the head and the heart in order to take appropriate action. But I do feel there is a decision here that needs to be made, and I don't think it's an easy decision. I think somebody here has a choice between two lovers, and I think somebody here knows that this decision is going to hurt one of these two people. And, uh, but it is also going to lead towards something brand new. And so something here does have to die away in order for a new passion to be birthed. And so I do feel this new moon in Gemini is bringing in an opportunity to kind of put it all out there. Uh, a confession type energy, maybe from a Scorpio, maybe from a Pisces. But I feel uh, somebody here does not want to squander this opportunity because it's not going to be here for long because the Empress has a lot of options. And so uh, if you want the Empress, you got to take charge, you got to come in and you got to come in with a solid offer and you better not be playing any games because this Empress is all done with toxic patterns. And so I think there is an Emperor here that is trying to unblock his heart, but is all stuck up in his head. Not sure if he's got what it takes to dive deep, to change priorities. There would need to be, I feel like, a major shift in priorities here. <clears throat> 
and I think there's some type of an embarrassment about going back to the past, going back. So I'm not sure exactly what is going on here, but I think there's a long-standing burden that does need to be released in order for movement to progress forward. So we're going to close off the reading with a crystal stone deck message to see if we can get some further information. What's the closing message here for Virgo for June? Awaken. Awaken to your wholeness. And so hematite. Hematite is a very good grounding stone. It's a really good stone uh, for anybody that I feel has a new crush coming in. You might have a new crush coming in. But I do feel there's like a lifelong existential dilemma here that needs to be put to bed with somebody from the past in order to go towards <clears throat> a new love. There is something here that has stagnated, whether this is you or somebody you're connected with. And so uh, you can't take the bad away from you by going from one situation to the next. Uh, you got to move through the lesson in order to ascend the lesson. And so I do feel um, um, there's something here where I feel somebody's got like blood on their hands. And it doesn't matter what choice you make. Somebody here is going to get hurt. Uh, but you have to walk away from somewhere that you don't belong is a big message or somebody here does. And I think <clears throat> that is the existential crisis. Somebody here is feeling stuck. And somebody here knows this new moon is the time to embrace this energy to make big things happen. And so bottom of the deck, get ready for unexpected communication. I think somebody here is getting ready to confess and speak straight from the heart. And I do think they really struggled through that last Mercury retrograde. And somebody I think is just begging the universe to find the courage to speak their truth. And so there's a lot of inner child healing here, I think, that this connection triggers you to do. Um, but somebody's about ready to say it loud into the universe and to go make something happen and speak from their heart after they go into the depths of understanding uh, what they need to release so they can stop getting lost in shallow connections. And that's kind of what I've got, Virgo. That was an interesting reading for June. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, check out the description box below. Also, if you would like to become a channel member, I'd love to have you join me over on the membership side of the channel. <clears throat> where I go live every Thursday at noon. You're not going to want to miss this Thursday's live because we're going to do all the zodiac signs. We're going to pull into the current energies for the new moon in Gemini. So if that interests you and you'd like to become a channel member, go check it out. I'd love to have you join us over there on the other side. And I hope you all have a great month ahead, Virgo. Thank you for tuning in.